आकाशवाणी राजकोट श्रोता मित्रों मानव समाज की प्रगति और सुखाकारी पाया में विज्ञान रजू करे रूपकात्मक श्रेणी विज्ञान की विस्तरती क्षितिजो आ श्रेणी प्रायोजक है लोक कल्याणार्थे विविध संशोधन करती आंतरराष्ट्रीय ख्याति प्राप्त राष्ट्रीय संस्था सेंट्रल सोल्ट एंड मरीन केमिकल रिसर्च इंस्टीट्यूट भावनगर विज्ञान की विस्तृती क्षितिजो निर्माण सहाय प्रस्तुति सलीम सोमाणी संकलन निर्माण डॉक्टर गीता गीड़ा नमस्कार श्रोता मित्रों रचनाकार रचेली आ दुनिया अनेक प्रकार की अजायबीओ भरेली है आक अजायबीओ कूतूहल कोयडा उकेलवाक वैज्ञानिकों प्रयोगशाला में मथी रहा है मानव उपयोगी संशोधनों करती आज एक संस्था अपना प्रांत में है जेन आपने गौरव है सेंट्रल सोर्ट एंड मरीन केमिकल रिसर्च इंस्टीट्यूट भावनगर खाते जनजीवन ने समृद्ध करना अनेक प्रकार संशोधन थाय आपना सुधी पहुंचाड़ो अर्णय कर गमत मे तो अलिया गूंजे न भरीए ने गमता न करिए गुलाल कवि श्री मकरंद भाई दवे कहूं एम आ गमती कल्याणकारी बात लईने आ श्रेणी विज्ञान की विस्तरती क्षितिजो आ क्षितिजो तरा मन की क्षितिजो ने विस्तार से मित्रों आ कार्यक्रम में आप मूल तमिलनाडु वतनी आ संस्था नियामक डॉक्टर कानंद साहेब ने सांभीश सीएसआईआर काउंसिल ऑफ साइंटिफिक एंड इंडस्ट्रीयल रिसर्च इज एन ऑर्गनाइजेशन विच इज बॉर्न बिफोर इंडिपेन्डेंस हमारा देश आजादी मिला था 1947 में सीएसआईआर वाज बॉर्न इन 1942 सीएसआईआर वाज बॉर्न बिकॉज ऑफ मेनली टू रीजंस वन टू डेवलप साइंटिफिक अक्यूमेन इन द कंट्री व्हेन द इंडिया वाज प्रिपेयरिंग फॉर इट्स इंडिपेंडेंस एंड द सेकंड इज हाउ the science can be put into use for the benefits of the mankind these were the two major reasons behind the establishment of csir or csir per se was a concept that was basically mooted by the first director general of csir sir santi swarup patnagar uske bare mein aapko to jankari hoga jab india independent hua tha us samay mein इंडिया का नेसेसिटीज अलग अलग तरीके थी बिकॉज वी वेर वी वेर वी वेर हैविंग डिफरेंट चैलेंजेस वी वेर हैविंग हेल्थ रिलेटेड चैलेंजेस वी वेर हैविंग एनर्जी रिलेटेड चैलेंजेस वी वेर हैविंग इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर रिलेटेड चैलेंजेस वी वेर हैविंग फूड रिलेटेड चैलेंजेस वी वेर हैविंग न्यूट्रिशन रिलेटेड चैलेंजेस ये पूरा चैलेंजेस को एड्रेस करने के लिए अलग अलग साइंसेस और इंजीनियरिंग का जरूरत था सो दैट वे दे वेर हैविंग लॉर्ड ऑफ थिंकिंग एंड इंस्टीट्यूटेड डिफरेंट इंस्टीट्यूट्स एट डिफरेंट पार्ट्स ऑफ द कंट्री एंड वेन दिस वॉज बेसिकली मेड वेन इंडिया बिकेम इंडिपेंडेंट सॉल्ट जो नमक बोलते हैं सॉल्ट का ज्यादातर इंडिया का अवेलेबिलिटी ज्यादातर बिफोर अनडिवाइडेड इंडिया का पाकिस्तान से आ रहा था ओके सो ये वाला जो जब इंडिया इंडिपेंडेंट हुए थे और पार्टीशन हुए थे इंडिया वाज हैविंग अ काइंड ऑफ अ डिफिकल्टी सॉल्ट टू बी सेल्फ रिलायंट हमारा देश के लिए हमारा खुद का सॉल्ट बनाने में थोड़ा जरूरत ज्यादा था हमारा पॉपुलेशन को हमारा सॉल्ट खिलाने में एंड वेन उसका उसके लिए साइंस का द्वारा ही करने के लिए पॉसिबल करके विजुअलाइजिंग इट वॉट इज इंपॉर्टेंट इज साइंस इज समथिंग विच इज द ओनली वे बाई विच द ग्रोथ ऑफ द नेशन इज ऑलवेज मेड एंड दे फेल्ट एट दैट पर्टिकुलर पॉइंट ऑफ टाइम द लीडरशिप एवरीबडी द साइंटिफिक थिंक टैंक एंड द लीडरशिप दे ऑल फेल्ट दैट इंडिया शुड हैव 
a kind of a, a research laboratory or a research institute that could work on salt and which will make the science that is basically coming out from those laboratories will make india to be a, a, a salt independent nation that was the first and fundamental objective and with this the then prime minister uh, pandit jawalal nehru ji announced that we wanted to have a kind of a research institute on salt that will basically take care of our salt requirements of the nation and with this thought in mind when he was making this announcement the king of this city bhavnagar uh, in fact i mean at that particular point of time it was a bhavnagar state and this particular uh, the king who was at that particular point of time governor of madras he said i will give a place for the scientist to work and i will give a large piece of a saline land for you to basically do a kind of a research on salt so with this he offered a building in which i am sitting and then talking to all of you and also provided a land for doing the cultivation of salt and the research in the domain of salt has started at this institute in 1954 on 10th april 1954 this institute was born it is a one of the most glorifying moments of the nation that nation had the vision that salt is such an important commodity for the growth of the nation and science led development is the way by which it can achieve the dreams of the country a just independent country and uh, and that is how i mean uh, uh, the responsibilities were given at that particular point of time uh, to the uh, then leadership uh, dr mata prasad who was the first director of this institute and he was given this uh, responsibility and 1954 this institute was born i'm so happy to say at that particular point of time the name of the institute was central salt research institute and then the research happened on the field of salt and slowly the competencies were built the experiments were um, made into field translation and the experiments were now taken at a kind of a larger scale and in less than 20 years down the line india was producing large quantities of salt which were sufficient for indian population especially for the food sector salt is a mother of all chemicals salt is the mother of all chemicals salt is the one which provides humongous opportunity for the growth of the entire chemical industry sector in the country so if industrial growth has to happen salt cultivation needs to improve further this is the first and foremost responsibility because first is self reliance in terms of food the second is about the industry when it is basically going in that direction it's also felt that when we are basically harvesting salt from the sea water because sea water is one of the most prolific source available in the planet earth okay all of you must be knowing about it also so this sea water if you are harnessing it for the salt it will also create a kind of a residue which we call it as bittern and this bittern is also rich of lot of minerals because sea is full of minerals sea is rich of minerals most of the elements which are necessary for our living which are necessary for our good health which are necessary for our industrialization all these chemicals are available in sea water that makes how sea water can be harnessed for further development and this gave the birth of marine chemicals domain in this institute and that's how this institute was changed its name as central salt and marine chemicals research institute which we call it even today
so whatever the work that we have been doing it it is important that we should be basically working around c and c resources and the coastal areas around the sea and that's the uh, what do you call the playground that this institutions play uh, through the scientists and technologists of this institute who are largely chemists engineers and biologists when we were basically expanding on the increase in productivity of the salt and expanding on the marine chemical segment so new technologies new techniques were continuously being developed and this helped in increasing the productivity of the salt to a uh, what you call continuously increasing extent and i'm so happy to say at this point of time with all of you who are intensely listening that india is world's third largest salt producers and ye garv hai when india was not self sufficient for salt in 1947 in 2022 we are the third world's largest salt producers and our dream doesn't end here we wanted india to become the second world's largest salt producer through the scientific and technological interventions and this institute is currently working on that for how we can deploy newer technologies how we can make most of the lands to be more amenable for salt production and also to see how i can increase the productivity of the salt on a per acre basis okay because india as a land is not going to change what needs to be changed is can i expand some of the areas which are not currently been cultivated or increase the productivity on an acreage basis these are the two ways by which india can realize this dream and this institute is working on technologies those are trying to help in realizing this vision of india becoming world's second largest salt producing nations in the world and i'm sure that when we are celebrating our centenary celebrations in 2047 and some of us who are basically listening to this program will again witness that yes there was a vision that by 2047 india wanted to be number 2 in the world as far as the salt production and we have achieved we have achieved and that's the kind of a satisfaction that this institute basically brings in on the marine chemicals front one of the material that basically comes out as i said bitten which is salt harvest karne ki baat jo material milte hai usko hum bitten bolte hai wo bitten mein ek important element hota hai called potassium and this potassium is extremely important for the people who are engaged in agriculture and that's how the research basically on the marine chemicals started and several technologies have been developed on the potassium chemicals in this institute aa shreni ma tabaka var apne vividh sanshodhan ni mahiti sanstha na vigyaniko pase thi sambhalta rahesu आ श्रेणी विषे तरा अभिप्राय अमने चौक्स लखी मोकलजो फरी मिलीशू नवा आयामों साथ नमस्कार विज्ञान विस्तृत क्षितिजो आप सांपकात्मक श्रेणी निर्माण सहाय प्रस्तुति सलीम सोमाणी संकलन निर्माण डॉक्टर गीता गीड़ा विज्ञान विस्तृत क्षितिजो आ श्रेणी प्रायोजक लोक कल्याण अर्थे विविध संशोधन करती आंतरराष्ट्रीय ख्याति प्राप्त राष्ट्रीय संस्था सेंट्रल सोल्ट एंड मरीन केमिकल रिसर्च इंस्टीट्यूट भावनगर प्रसारण आकाशवाणी राजकोट केन्द्र थी कर